Big Z Reviews. The Midnight Sky is a Netflix film uh, directed and starring uh, George Clooney, and it's just okay. That's either. It's a spaceship that we hoped would be our future. I have to warn them about the conditions on Earth. I don't know all the details. It started with a mistake. So the setup for this is that, honestly, there isn't too much setup. Because um, there's some sort of post-apocalyptic event. And George Clooney is, like, in Antarctica. And he's staying behind because he's dying from, like, his kidneys are failing or something. And he is, like, the last person there. And, like, the rest of the Earth is being destroyed or dying from something that they never explain. And, but he gets in contact with... Um, you know, a spaceship uh, that is coming back to Earth after exploring one of the moons, another planet, and they he's trying to tell them, you know, to go back. There's no hope for humanity on Earth. You have to go, um, you know, go to go to this other moon and try to survive there, and and so some form of humanity survives. And I think the big like thing of this is that. It's to hiss him alone, and then this young girl pops up. And, uh, like, I, I knew... I, I, that's my biggest problem with this film, is this young girl, and things that happen with that. Because a, a decent amount of the film is also in space, and, like, the, that stuff is just very generic. You know, it's been done previously better, in movies like Gravity or Interstellar, and, uh, but, like, choices that they make, you know, like, you know, of course, they do a spacewalk, and, like, of course, yeah, one of the people is going to die. Yeah, I know. And they kept waiting, like, I hope they don't. Maybe, I almost think, oh, maybe they're doing that. No, no, they're definitely still doing that. Okay. And, like, the choices that they make, like, are, you're talking about the future of humanity, and, like, some, some of the astronauts decide to go back to Earth. And it's, like, you're, you're kind of screwing humanity. You're going to have no genetic diversity. You know, you could, <laughs> And it's just, but to, to talk about my biggest problem with it, I do kind of have to spoil the movie. So full spoilers from here on out. So there are a couple of flashbacks. And like he is so, like George Clooney has been so focused on like the stars and researching, you know, astronomy. And he has a girlfriend, but then he breaks up, they break up with her and she comes back and she has a child. And like you see that later, like, like of course that child is one of the astronauts, and she's played by Felicity Jones. And, of course, the, ch the child is also a, hallucinator a hallucination in the present day. And, like, you know, George Clooney, the child that he has to save and, and be with, like, that's a hallucination. And I think the biggest problem with that is that, like, okay, yeah, is this, it, it, I see what you're doing, but my problem with it is that if he's hallucinating with that, is any of it real? Is this whole journey he's on in the Antarctic, like, and all the danger he's going through, is, any, is that real at all? Is him talking to the astronauts, is it real? Like, by having the kid be a hallucination, it makes me question the entire movie. And I feel like, especially because they're so vague about what the apocalypse is, like, it feels like a dream. And it feels like like maybe this guy is dying and this is his dream. But they don't play it like that. They don't they don't play it like that. Except for the hallucination, they play it all like this is actually happening. And it's just, it didn't really work for me. Like, George Clooney is good. I mean, all the space stuff, I enjoy that stuff. But even this is kind of generic. You know, it's enjoyable. But I just, I wish they hadn't done the hallucination. You know? <laughs> Well, what's she going to do? I guess, you know, it's based on the book. I assume that that book has that, you know. But I'd probably give it like a 6 out of 10, 6.5 out of 10. But thanks for watching. And you want to see uh, other of my reviews, you can uh, subscribe to me down below. Thanks.